blessings. You know, we got to, uh, we got to fight the good fight, man, and we got to win the race. We got to endure the hardship, the image of the beast, the name, the number. We got to endure it and we cannot receive it. So many, sad, so many are going to receive it. So many are going to fall into the hands of an angry God. The gospel of Jesus Christ must be preached amongst all the world and to the witnesses to, to all the nations, then shall the end come. Do we see that we're at this point? I believe the gospel has been preached. This is my belief. It has been preached amongst the whole world. Why I say that? Because of technology, artificial intelligence, these cell phones. Gospel has been around the whole world. But for us as believers, for us as true followers of the Most High God, we're going to have to finish the race and not give in to the system. I want to show you something here in the book of Revelation chapter 15. Start right here, verse 1, it says, And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues. For in them is filled up with the wrath of God, and I saw as it were as the sea of glass mingled with fire. Some, some are saying, some theologians say that this is a, 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 a picture of the sea of glass. Is mingled with fire. This is an image. This is something that they're seeing. Mingled with fire. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his name, I mean, over his image and over his mark and over his name and over the number, standing on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. We got to be. Over the victory, we gotta have victory over the beast, over his image, over his mark, over his number, and of his name, brothers and sisters. How is it possible that we can do that? We got to stay in the word. We got to stay in the scriptures. We got to stay underneath this bosom. This 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 world wants you to play two sides this world wants you to be a two-headed coin this world wants you to be 50 50 a lukewarm believer but we cannot verse 3 and they sang the song of Moses the servant of God and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of the saints. Thou King of the saints. His ways are marvelous and true. His ways are magnificent. But we got to have victory over the beast. I believe that we're walking into this time, brothers and sisters. I believe that we're really truly looking at these things that are coming upon the earth. I really do truly believe that. Even that I'm at my job, you know, I just started this, this move. A transition from where I was into another place in time. But for the ones that understand what I'm saying spiritually, things don't sit right. If you can really feel it in the spirit, Things ain't like they used to be. It's not. Things ain't moving and shifting and not going in place like they used to. Things are not as they were. 
For the Lord said that the times will be like this. That man won't be able to discern the times and the seasons that they're in. Verse 4. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord? And glory is thy name. For thou art only, for thou only are holy. For all the nations shall come and worship before thee. For thy judgments are made manifest. And after that I look and behold the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony. And heaven was open. It was open. It's going to be us if you're faithful and you have victory over the beast. But if we're willing to take the CV vax and not understanding it. I, I just, I, I listen, I'm not, I'm not trying to be deep. In this, I'm not. But at the end of the day, we got to have some discernment, saints. Because if we don't have no discernment, we don't understand what's right and what's wrong. We don't understand what's true and what's false. We don't take the time to do it. He says, man perish because of lack of knowledge, because of what they rejected. For knowledge here in the scriptures and knowledge out here in the world, some of us are rejecting the knowledge because we refuse to do the research. Seven last plagues. I don't know if we're going to be here, if we're not going to be here. I'll just tell you what the Bible says. He says, he that endures to the end, he will give them a crown of life. I got to endure to the end. He didn't tell me what time and space and what measurement and all these other things and the, the, that he was going to take me from here, take us from here. He didn't say that. i let you be the judge on that one. But think about it, brothers and sisters. Got to have victory over the beast, amen? Be blessed, be encouraged. Watch me on the wall. King coming. Shalom.